Alright, so now that I'm back on the mainland... Hmm... wonder if I want to... You know what? The guy's an imbecile, but I may as well inquire about that. I don't think anything will come of this, but you know what? Might as well try, right? At least before we restock on everything. Actually, real quick, is there anything that I should restock on? Well, I'll need to sell all these wolf pelts. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's throw all of them in here. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. I trust you. So, will I get anything out of this? Let's find out. Alright, so nothing doing. Alrighty then. So, now we get to go to a completely different area. Well, let's stop by the inn real quick and see if we can sell all the wolf pelts. And then see what else can be done and you're not taking him either okay that's annoying surely someone will be willing to take him hmm I doubt I could try that trapper but well let's find out yeah I didn't think so either way is there any well let's see what kind of arrows do I have and what might I want Let's see. Almost out of standard arrows again. Okay, we powered through a ton of those. Well, given the circumstances, I think I... W Actually, real quick. Oh yeah, you're holding on to some of them. But, I'm thinking it's about time you graduated to arrows plus one. At least as many as we can get away with. Yeah, that looks like uh, that's all I can get away with, so let's have you throw one of them into here. Let me finish off those arrows, and we'll see how we get all this up to work out. Alrighty then. Actually, will you take the Yeti pelt? No. I wonder if those trappers will accept it. Because I need to dump them off somewhere. Well, we'll keep looking around. That bastard! Now Dolan's dead. That simple-minded goon went with me down to the lake last night and a wolf killed him. What bastard? What happened? We're sitting there, minding our own business, when a wolf comes trotting out of the woods and runs right up to us. My brother, that stupid knothead, he didn't even realize what was happening. He tried to pet it. Moron. It leaps up on Dolan and starts biting his face off. I didn't even know what the hell to do. Next thing I know, Dolan's dead and the thing's coming for me. I reached for my dagger and start stabbing the damn thing, but my blade just kept bouncing off of it. I tell you, that beast weren't natural. I was lucky to get away. So you think the wolf was magical? I think Emmerich has been summoning wolves to kill me and my brothers. You know what else I think? I think Emmerich and his little wolfy friend is dead the next time I see them. Mark my words. Well, um, okay then. Okay. Uh... Where's the other guy? Hmm. Where is the other guy? I better go check in with Emmerich. See if anything's changed. Should probably ask about that. Hmm. Let's see. Recent murders? What can you tell us about the recent murders in town? Ah, uh, yes. The animal attacks. There's not much to tell, Reese, Illy. I warned all three of those thick-headed butchers about over-trapping, but they wouldn't listen. Now the forest has exacted its revenge. Is it possible that the same wolf that attacked you is also responsible for the murders in town? I'm sure of it, though I would hardly call it murder. I'd say it was more like self-defense. Dougal and his brothers have taken enough wolf pelts to clothe an entire tribe of barbarians. We talked to Dougal about Dolan's murder. He told us that he witnessed the attack and tried to save his brother, but his dagger had no effect on the beast. 
Interesting. I heard Dougal went to see Kieran this morning about purchasing an enchanted blade. Do you think Dougal is planning to go after the beast himself? I wouldn't put it past him. Perhaps you should head over to the Whistling Gallows and ask Kieran if he knows what Dougal's up to. Well, huh. Suddenly the winter wolf pelts are more valuable. Wonder how that happens. Either way. Let's head over here. Actually, is there anything else we want to sell? Well, the gems, obviously. But... Yeah, I don't think I need any more bullets yet. I don't think. You just tell me what you so... Let's see, Kieran's over here, right? Okay. Seems like more than just that girl knows. Hmm. Let's see. What can you tell us about the recent murders in town? I'm afraid I can't shed much light on that mystery. It would appear that some manner of angry beast has been preying upon the trappers in town. It does seem somewhat ironic, in a disturbing kind of way. In any case, I'm sure Emmerich will sort things out. We heard that Dougal was looking to buy an enchanted blade. Do you know why he would want such an item? Ah, yes, Dougal. He told me of his encounter with the wolf the other night when Dolan was killed. He claimed the beast was magical and that normal blades would not kill it. I told him that I had no such items and sent him on his way. Do you believe the wolf is actually a magical beast? I suppose it's possible. There are many such creatures that cannot be harmed by ordinary steel. Perhaps this wolf that Dougal fought was actually a werewolf. That would certainly explain why his attacks proved ineffective. Hmm. What can I do for you? I wonder if anyone else knows something. Nope. You seem awfully talkative. Let's see. What you be wanting, stranger? Can't you see I be into me cups? Who are you? I be rural tunnels far of Clan Battlehammer, and what do, who do I have the pleasure of be being pestered by? I'm Johanna, Rold. It's a pleasure to meet you. Aye, a pleasure it is to meet new friends. Now speak your mind. What ye be wanting? You look like you've seen battle recently. Aye, was but a week hence. Know ye of the barbarian camp east are here? Yes, I've heard that the barbarians have gathered nearby. Well, me and me fellows were sent by the clan to scout the camp. Dan savages spotted us and sent us off like a pack, set us et on us like a pack of dogs. We were backed against a bluff with nowhere to run. We knew we were trapped, so we had Adam. If we were to die, we were not to die alone. Army oh, fellows fell to those savages' blade. I knew me time had come, and I steadied myself with their blows. Sudden like, the steep voice booms out, and they step back. A giant of a man came forward and glares at me. Must have been seven feet tall, and he was wearing the mark of a kin. Ink. Kelly, the double-bladed axe, built bigger than myself. I've met him. He calls himself Wilfteen. <laughs> Call him what you will. I know I was looking into the eyes of a demon. What happened next? He raises an axe, to sw axe and swings at me. Almost had me, too. He was so fast with the blade. I barely raised my shield in time to block the blow. Last thing I remember was me shield shattering and me falling from the bluff. I woke up in a pile of broken branches into the trees below. They must have broken me fall. I bandaged myself up and limped into town. Been here ever since. Is there anything else you can tell me about the barbarians? Not a thing. Me and me fellows never made it to the camp proper. Plenty of guards and alert as well. What do you intend to do next? As soon as I be fit to, to travel, I'll report back to the clan. It be up to the clan elders what course to take next. Until then, I'll be, mo I be mourning the loss of me fellows. Interesting. So, that adds another dynamic to this. Actually, if I could find a place to dump stuff, that'd be great. Because I do not want to be hanging on to these wolf pills. I'll get right on it. Come on, there's got to be something around here. Ah, a special door. Wonder what we'll find. All right. Okay, I don't want to intrude on this. 
Let's go upstairs. Maybe there's something there. You guys are dumb. One of these days, I will find a place to dump stuff. Actually, you know what? Three's a crowd. Ah, perfect. Throw all the wolf pelts in here. And then, actually, since they we've got, since they're close enough, let's have you throw, throw that in there as well. Okay, that should do. Okay. I trust you. Should be playing this regularly enough to remember that they're in there. Now, let's get going. Okay. Maybe Emmerich has more information trust now. You. Although, werewolf. I wonder what kind of. Maybe it is a werewolf. Hmm, might be worth looking into. Sounds good to me. We spoke with Kieran about the enchanted blade Dougal purchased. He seemed to think that it may be the, a werewolf that's doing all the killing in town. A werewolf? How can that be? I'm certain that the wolf that attacked me is behind these killings, not some cursed man beast. How do you know the creature that attacked you wasn't a werewolf? I suppose it's possible. It is said such creatures possess the ability to take the shape of both man and beast, but I was wounded in the attack. If the creature was indeed a werewolf, wouldn't it have passed its curse on to me? Perhaps it did. Tell me, what can you, can you recall of the past few nights? By the gods, the nightmares. I've been plagued by the same horrible nightmares ever since the attack. I had thoughts they were merely dreams sent to me by the forest father to remind me of my transgressions. In the morning, I awoke, ache drenched in sweat with the bloody image of violence, images of violence still lingering in my brain. Merciful powers, it's true. What have I done? What have I become? Hmm. Calm yourself. Surely there must be something we can do to help. Help me? I'm a werewolf. A murderer. What makes you think I deserve your help? Please, leave me. I need to be alone. Very well. But if we discover a way to remove your curse, we'll be back. Ha! Huh, I wondered if it would go in that direction. I had a feeling it would, but hey, let's go see what we can resolve. Actually, yeah, Kieran knows a decent amount, and he's good at keeping secrets, I suspect, so let's go talk to Kieran. Because clearly, some of the people in town know Kieran's secret as well. Or at least that's the impression given. Alright, Joe, let's, ha I'll get right on. let's have a chat. Hmm. Huh. We've discovered that Emmerich has become a werewolf. Do you know of a way to lift the curse? Emmerich, you say? This is terrible news. I'm afraid I do not possess the power to cure such a powerful affliction as maledictive, li as maledictive lycanthropy. However, I do have an item that may inhibit the effects of the curse. Take this amulet to Emmerich. As long as he wears it around his neck, he will not undergo the process of transfiguration, nor will he be able to affect others with his contagion. We'll take it to him immediately. Farewell. Inventory full? Alright, I stocked up on everything. I'm ready. Okay. Well. At least that was kept simple. Although, now the question begins. What else will happen? Well, the question and remains. We'll see if it remains within this purview, if that makes any sense. See if anything changes. Hopefully, it just stays contained to this and no one else has to know. To Let's see. You shouldn't be here. As long as I carry the werewolf's curse, no one is safe around me. I don't want to be responsible for any more deaths. Kieran gave us this magic amulet. Take it. As long as you wear it, it will prevent you from changing into a werewolf. I don't know what to say. Perhaps now I will be able to live long enough to atone for my crimes. Thank you. I am forever in your debt. Yay, level up! Let's see. I'm not going to worry about getting more bullets yet. Goblin arrow? What's this do? When a successful hit, a goblin is summoned next to the... That's an odd thing. 
I may have to try that at some point, but either way. Alrighty. We've done what we can. Now, the question is... Actually, I'm curious about something. That's a woodpecker, right? I want to say it's a woodpecker. Either way, it's... ah, cleric, useful. Let's see what most new stuff you get. Okay, a new level one. Let's go with. Hmm. What else is there? Uh. Hmm. That looks useful. Ooh, useful stuff. Entropy shield. Blade barrier. Ooh, pretty. That is very pretty. I mean... The caster's immobile, though. Spiritual Wrath. Hmm. Holy crap. If only everyone was the same moral alignment. What is your alignment? I don't remember what I gave you. Neutral good. That will not end well. Hmm. To all saving throws. Hmm. Let's try heal. You just tell me what Where is Tirana? She's still back there because of the level up. That's annoying. Ah, well, what can you do? Actually, you're f running low on bolts, aren't you? Admittedly, we haven't been using the cross... Well, actually, we have been using the crossbow, but... You don't run through it as quickly as we do bullets. So I think we're okay for now. Now, real quick. Okay, can't resolve that anymore since that I guess we already resolved it in the given direction. Now I just need to... Move on! So I'm pretty sure... Er, this is the end exit. Yep, all right! Let's head out to the main quest. Okay, so. Barbarian camp. Now the gloom frost. Oh dear, that's a long travel time. Long travel time. We'll see about that. Ah, great. Bears, already under attack. Although, to be fair, it's not as if they're super... It's not as if they're super dangerous. Yeah, compared to everything else we've seen, not at all dangerous. Not even worth spending magic on at this point. Okay, I know you like your overdramatic music, Jeremy. Could stop it. Okay, is this just going to be a winding path the whole way through? I am not averse to this. Frost Salamander? Where? Must be up somewhere. Can't go in that direction. Oh, they must be across the way. Are they? No, there's no map up there. Here's the frost salamanders. Let's give them a fiery grave. Well, that was quick. Oh, crap! That's that's someone behind us. Okay, uh... What did you learn? Heal? Probably. Um... 
Here's what we'll do. You guys face backwards and deal with this guy. Oh dear, we're surrounded. So, uh, this is fun. Uh, what's the best course of action here? You know what? You can't get out of this. Actually, best thing I can do is probably to just turn magic on these guys so that we can minimize the damage. Of course, when their very presence is causing you issues, that throws a wrench into things. Okay. Do that. Do this. Keep slamming him. Actually, you're gonna have much better luck with Magic Missile. We basically just need to take the pressure off of you so that we turn our attention back elsewhere. Okay. You guys have been doing work, though. Well, that's the good news, anyway. Yeah, I'm here. Ah, hell. So everyone's pretty low health. So, let's see. Okay, get out of your bow. Oh, Joe's dead! Whoops! Alright, where's Ray's dead? Now I'm trying to remember, did you learn heal or... Oh, right, we haven't rested, so it wouldn't matter. Alright, let's get everything back on you and then carry on. Okay, I should probably rest. Preferably rest in a circumstance where winter wolves aren't going to maul us. Okay, we're good. We're good. That was painful. That was very painful. Let's never do it again. So, hmm. Actually, is there any... No, there's no exploration along here. I'll just... A wonderfully fine mess. And this all just leads to the same place, though. That's kind of disappointing. Huh, an encampment. Thick blanket of ice and snow covers this abandoned dog sled. The frozen body of two dwarves lies huddled near a snow filled fire pit. Hmm. This makeshift shelter appears to have been fashioned from parts of dismantled sleds lashed together with rope and strips of leather. So, looks like the dogs that were pulling that sled must not have made it. Well, clearly the dwarves didn't. <laughs> 